everyone, welcome to a real Yarn Scrap Friday crochet tutorial uh, this Friday. This, um, I totally ran out of time this week, so I've had to come up with something really, really super quickly. And I thought of this teeny tiny little snail. Well, actually it was Missy who came up with the tiny snail idea. So <laughs> really cute little project that could just hide in the background of uh, any crochet projects you're working on. So for this tiny little snail, we're going to be using some sport baby weight yarn. So a nice small thin yarn. And with that, we are going to be using a two millimeter crochet hook. You're also going to need a yarn needle and a pair of scissors as well. I've actually lost my normal yarn needle, so I'm very, I'm very upset about that. So I'm having to negotiate using a new one. <laughs> but don't worry, this is, might be a small project, but it is super easy for beginners. So give it a go. There's nothing too fiddly about this. So let's begin, shall we? Okay, we're gonna start off with the base first. And what we're gonna to do to begin with is a little slip knot to begin and we are going to chain nine to begin so it's chain nine so one two three eight and nine so we chain nine and we're going to work one single crochet in our second chain from our hook so this pattern's in US terminology so our second chain, we don't count the loop on our hook. There's our first chain, there's our second chain. So we're going to put our hook into there and work a single crochet. So in UK terms, that's going to be a double crochet. But US terms, a single crochet. We're going to work one single crochet in each chain along. So just work a single crochet in the next chain and in each chain along. Single crochet in there single crochet in the next chain and when you get to the end you should have a stitch count of eight single crochets and we're going to just chain one don't count that as a stitch and turn and we're going to work one single crochet starting in that first stitch one single crochet in each stitch across to the other end keeping a stitch count of eight two, three, let's go up to the end, seven, and the last one, eight, which always seems to be a little bit more on the edge, eight. Okay, so we've got this little flat project. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna chain one, don't count that as a stitch, and turn. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our hook into that first stitch, but also find the other side, and we're gonna put our hook into that first chain as well over the other side. So we're gonna join these two sides together. So we're gonna bring the yarn through both those stitches, and then straight through the loop on your hook to do a slip stitch, okay? Then you wanna find the next stitch and do that all the way across. So the next stitch, and then match it up the other side, bring that through both stitches, then straight through the loop on your hook to do a slip stitch. And slip stitch the two sides together all the way across. So you can sort of count up to eight if that helps. Hopefully it's not too fiddly. This is probably the fiddliest bit. If this is too fiddly, you can just fasten off and fold in half and sew it together. So you don't have to slip stitch it together. Okay, then the very last one, most annoying bit is the actual uh, tail end getting in the way. Okay, the last stitch. It's very fiddly doing on camera. <laughs> okay, then what we're going to do is we're going to cut our yarn, pull that loop through, and what we're going to do is we're just going to secure this tail end. So takes me longer to thread onto this yarn needle. I miss my old yarn needle. <laughs> okay, let's do that off camera. Okay, so we're just going to just sew the two ends together a little bit, just to secure. Okay, and then what we're gonna do is we're actually going to cut these ends and use them as the antennae Okay, so hopefully it looks like that with these little 
eyes would be on the end. And what we're going to do now is create the shell. So put that to the side and bring in a different colour. And what we're going to do first is we are just going to do a slip knot. And then we're going to chain 21. Chain 21. So one, two, three, 19, 20, and 21. Okay, so we've chained 21. And uh, what we're going to do then is we are going to work a single crochet in our second chain from a hook. So that's our first chain, there's our second chain a hook into there and work a single crochet. We're going to work one single crochet in each chain to the end and we should have a stitch count of 20. Okay so one single crochet or double crochets in UK terms, single crochet in each chain across. Okay just coming up to the end and once you've single crocheted all the way to the beginning, going to cut our yarn, leave a little bit of tail for sewing. Just going to pull that through, and what you want to do now is I recommend, so if you've got a frustratingly annoying yarn needle like mine now, is to thread on your yarn needle first, okay? And then we're going to fold up, this is like the back side, so the not so nice side. We're just going to start rolling up our shell, hiding the ugly side, <laughs> I guess, on the inside, so we get the nice chains on the outside. Okay, and once that's rolled up, we're then going to secure that by, if you flatten it with your fingers, we're going to sew all the way through to the other side. And that secures it all together and then we can do that for the other tail end as well. Just for extra security. And then you just want to, you can trim down the first one. And then use this tail end to sew onto the body of your snail. So I'm going to sew that onto the body of the snail using this tail end and then our little snail is done. And to sew it on I'm just going to start near the head. And we're going to try and hide the tail end on the inside of the body so we don't have any, especially if we're using different colours, we're not going to have any alternate colours showing on the bottom. So try and keep that hidden on the inside. And sew this together. And once that's all sewn together, we then just want to hide our tail ends. Our last tail end. So just sew over a little bit to secure and then trim as close as we can. And then there we go, so we've got no sewing shown on the outside of the snail. And there, we just neaten off his little antennae, which got a bit fluffy on this one. <laughs> there is our completed tiny little snail to go with our other tiny little snail. I don't know what you'd use these for, but you could use them to uh, accompany amigurumi and other things, you could sew them on to as a little appliques on things or onto blankets and stuff like that or just hang them from a mobile it would be lots of fun little cute project ideas so I hope you enjoyed that tutorial it's very very last minute Yarn Scrap Friday this Friday so let me know in the comments below if you'll give this little cute snail a try a huge thank you as always to our membership subscribers for helping make these tutorials possible huge thank you to you guys and if you're interested in our monthly subscription you can find all the details on our website and you can enjoy extra content like our crochet magazine uh, behind the scene vlogs and our podcast and exclusive patterns and so much more so do check it out but i will see you soon for some more crochet crafting fun thanks for watching guys bye